Regardless of which format you came from, in terms of digital or analog, or maybe you never even used outboard gear and you've just started off with the DAW, we have something which is called a transport. And these are things that we're very familiar with, even in modern day programs such as iTunes and things like that. We have some type of transport which allows us to engage specific functions. So let's take a look at the Pro Tools transport over here. As you can see, I have a freestanding transport window that I can float around and move. If you don't see this, we can simply come up to our Windows option, and you can see here we have Transport. We also have shortcuts, which we can use. And like I said, any time you find yourself using something on a regular basis, it's always worth trying to learn that shortcut. But in this case, let's just go ahead and use the menus. So we do have it up here, but sometimes it's nice to have it just floating freestanding over here, and then we can reposition this as needed. So with this transport up, let's take a look at the basic functions that we can do. Well, we can, for example, just hover our cursor over top over here. We have a return to zero. We have a rewind. We have a fast forward. We have our go to end. We have our stop. We have our play. We have our record. Now, when we right click our play or record, you'll notice that we have some other options. So for example, this is currently set to loop meaning that any selection that we make, and we're gonna get into these editing tools later, but any selection that we make, this would go ahead and loop enable this so that when it gets to the end, it will just start over in the beginning. That's something that's very useful, but we can also disable that simply by right clicking. Now we also have some record right click options, but we're gonna get into those later. Now, in addition to that, we also have some very basic information, which can be useful. So for example, we have some positioning over here. We have a start and we have an endpoint. So if I make a selection, you'll notice that these are updating. This gives us valuable feedback in terms of what we're doing with our selections. So as I'm doing this over here, this is highlighting these different sections. If I knew that I needed to highlight, for example, a specific amount, I could go ahead and do that. I could come into my grid mode and I could just highlight this section and this tells me that I've highlighted eight bars. Now, other than that, very basic. So I could, for example, use this to go to the beginning and press play. I could also stop. I could fast forward and I'm just using my transport to fast forward. If I hold this down, it's doing it in real time. I'll let go, play from here. I could go to the very end of the selection, go to back to the beginning. So this is very useful in terms of just the basic functionality of getting around our project. And it also offers us that visual feedback of letting us know exactly where we are in our session, how much we have selected, what the in points in, what the out points are in. Very, very useful feature. And we'll be using this throughout the entire series. Now, before we really get into things, there's one more thing that I wanna take a look at in terms of helping out with navigating through your sessions, and that is markers. And that's what we're gonna focus on in the next video.